Hello all, this is Donna and today we're here to discuss the new new player bundles that have come out. Um, it looks like there's a number of different ones uh, ranging from like the Defenders, one of the early teams um, that people suggest uh, up to X-Men which is incredible seeing as you get Cyclops. Then you've also got like the Shield team where you get Yo-Yo which is amazing because Yo-Yo is currently basically unfarmable. So this is a way to be able to get her very early in the game. And then you've also got like Cyclops who's unfarmable in there. Um, there's a Sinister Six one and like Guardians as well. So let's have a look at the actual bundles. Uh, currently, there's only pictures of four of them. Um, we're missing the Nick Fury team one, which is like all the shield minions, and the uh, Sinister Six one. But this is the X-Men one. Uh, it's roughly, I believe, 50 American US dollars. Um, 180 shards of these guys. This is going to get you to four star, which is incredible because not only is this a really good team, um, obviously without Phoenix, it's not going to be amazing, but they are still really good and they will get you pretty far into arena at the start. Uh, it means that you also have four, uh, five characters that are almost ready for Magneto because Magneto requires five star um, X-Men or Brotherhood characters. Um, Currently, most of them are kind of late game farms. You've got um, Wolverine here who's early, um, but this one, I believe, is the one that becomes first available at uh, $15, I believe it is. Um, pretty easy, to, uh, sorry, level 15, that one becomes available, I believe. Um, so that's a great one to pick up, especially because it means that you're also going to have four star characters, which you can use for the uh, red star blitz, which is really good because it means that you can get red star blitz sooner um, as soon as you hit that level 42, which unlocks the red stars. Then we've got the shield one, which I believe is the next one, which becomes available at level 20. Um, that's incredible because it's got Yo-Yo in here. Now the others aren't going to be too great. Um, you can use them all together, except Yo-Yo's passive won't get activated as long as you've got uh, uh, Captain America there. Still going to be a great team though. Um, they're going to be incredible at the start of the game. And that one's uh, $25. So all of them are 25 except for the X-Men one, which is 50 so then you've got the Guardians of the Galaxy. Now this is three star Guardians of the Galaxy, but it means that you can get this and then you can go quickly into Star-Lord if that's the way you want to do. I still suggest AIM as one of the first teams and I think that that should be an incredible first team for you to work on. Um, but if you want to go the Guardians of the Galaxy route, this is going to be incredible. Um, and that one I believe is level 25. You're going to have access to that one um, and it's 100 shards each. Then finally at level 30, you'll get the Defenders one. Again, $25. Um, great if you kind of want to pick it up. Uh, all of these are really good to pick up if you are a new player. Oh, is that true? Um, all of these are really good to pick up at the start of the game because it means that you're going to have a lot of early teams. Even if you're just picking them up to use in Blitz, um, at low level, they're going to be great to have alongside. Now we don't have pictures of the Sinister Six one or the Nick Fury one. Both of those are going to be great as well because obviously they're teams that all synergize well together. All these teams are great synergy teams to work together. Now the part that you're probably asking is how exactly to get them. So it's been really helpful. One of the guys on the subreddit has kind of investigated it. They've leveled up a few different teams. So we'll zoom in here so that way you can read it at the same time I'm reading it. Basically you're going to need these on new accounts. If you're above level 35 or 40, you're not going to get them. Now, even on a new account, they won't show up if you've logged into a Google Play account or a Apple Game Center account on that device and it's been previously linked to uh, a, like a more veteran account. Um, now, even if the new account isn't attached to it, then you're going to need, you can't use a credit card that's been used on a previous account either. So basically they made it so that way there's a couple checks to make sure that you're a completely new player, which I'm not completely agreeing with. It means that people who have started alt accounts can't buy them. It means that any veteran players can't buy them um, and they are incredible value. Um, but basically these are aimed for completely new people. And again, this is all based on what, um, People have tested and stuff, so it's possible that it changed. Um, I've asked Foxnext for some clarification on it. All I've been told is that they're only available at level 15. Um, I don't know all the exacts about it, um, but yeah, unfortunately, that's where we're at at the moment. Now, um, 
basically if you are only like 20 days into the account uh, like 20 days or you've only just started you're only like level 30 or something like that it might be suggested for you completely to restart because that means that you'll be able to buy these accounts uh, buy these offers and they're going to be incredible at the start of the game um, they're going to make it so that way you can just blitz forward you can get really far into arena really far into blitz at the start of the game um, just basically give you that big step up boost on the existing um, on the people who are starting who didn't buy these offers or didn't have them offered to them um, it's unfortunate that we kind of don't know exactly how they offer uh, how they're offered or anything like that but we do know that they're level 15 20 25 and 30 likely 35 and 40 um, but we're not entirely sure as to how the sinister six or the shield minion ones are procced um, and they are for completely new players so and the other thing is that in this same data mind up the top here, it was mentioned about the promotional charity offers. These are not the promotional charity offers. These aren't related to them. These are completely unrelated. They're for new players. The promotional charity offer is for Minerva, and that's going to be later on. Um, I'm not sure entirely when that's going to happen. I've been asked a number of different times as to when that's going to happen, but it looks like at the moment it's going to happen sometime in the future. But that's it. Um, basically, you need to be a completely new player. You need to have just started. You need to be at level 15, and then they'll start coming along. And all of these are really worth buying. Um, if you only wanted to buy one of them, I would 100% making it the X-Men one, because that's going to be insane at the start of the game, and give you a massive boost, including getting into Arena um, at higher um, levels to get further into there, and also getting into that Red Star Blitz early on. Now, if you wanted to buy one of the other ones, I would likely suggest the Guardians one as a second choice um, if you wanted to go to the Guardians of the Galaxy route. But the Guardians of the Galaxy route is kind of tough for new players. Um, otherwise, I would suggest the Defenders one. Now, I wouldn't suggest working on these Defenders super high, but you can work on them decently so that way you can actually... Um, get like the uh, heroes campaign out of the way you can get uh, blitz you can get the block party event up to level three um, etc now the shield offer is not going to be too bad because you also unlock yo-yo from this i'm not sure why it says a three-star avengers squad when some of these characters aren't even avengers um but it is what it is. But this will unlock Iron Man for you almost, I believe. I think he's a four-star unlock, so you don't need too much more from there. Um, but unfortunately, Yo-Yo is not farmable at the moment. But that's it. Um, I'm hoping that this gets changed so that way other play people have the option of actually being able to purchase it. I know on my new player account, um, I'm, what, level 52 or something like that, and I've just missed out on these, and it would have been incredible to be able to get them because it would have meant that I could have immediately jumped up in arena uh, while i wouldn't have done that for the experiment if i was a new player then that would have been a great option and i know there's a number of people with alt accounts that would have loved to have been able to buy these so hopefully we get word on fox nexus to these a bit more uh, soon because it would be great to be able to have clarification on what's going on with them um, they are really good and um I'm hoping that if you're watching this and you're a new player that you do purchase some of them uh, because they're just going to be incredible help for you at the start of the game. Um, but that's it for today. Um, I hope you have a great day. This is my little son. Uh, he wants to say Happy Mother's Day to everyone. Jazz, look up here. Say Happy Mother's Day? No, I'm just watching my show. <laughs> Alright, everyone have a great day and goodbye. <laughs>